Hello humans, I'm your Shalom, welcome back to some more Mega Man X6. In this part, it's time to go to the final set of stages, Gate Slab. Before I do, I will say that I'm going in at zero, I'm going to equip some minor things. Or major things, depending on how you want to look at it. So let's see, uh, that looks handy, Saber Extend, that looks like it'd be handy, Shot Eraser. I don't remember which one's what. Alright, Shot Eraser, Saber Extend, I don't think it'll, uh, I don't know. Uh, speed shot? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Speedster? I can't. I can't equip speedster. Oh, what's this? Hyperdrive. Okay. I. Oh, actually, no. I want that. Okay. So I think I made made it so my saber goes a little bit further. Oh, whoops. Overdrive. Power drive. Power drive. Power drive. Okay. I think I made it so my saber goes a little bit farther. That it deals a little bit more damage. And that, uh, I don't know what else it did. But alright, Gates Lab, here we go! So let me start off saying that I love, love the music for the stage. It's nice, fast paced, makes you pumped, and it's epic. It's like, what are you to expect? And also, I got this little spinning attack. I don't know if you get that from Rainy Church Floyd or a Metal Shark player, but whatever. Alright, so basically, the second you go down here, you're gonna lose your transmission with other people. And let me just say that this is one of the final stages in the game for a reason. It is not easy. You'll see in a moment. So now that we go down here into the lab, the fun begins. And just at this very first part, this very first part, it's not going to seem difficult because I already know what you're supposed to do. But it's... Let me say this. You can pick X or Zero, right? Zero makes this part extremely easy, whereas X has a very difficult time going, getting through this. The boss for the stage is very difficult to defeat with zero, but very easy to defeat with X. So it's like take your pick. Do you want an easier stage but a harder boss with zero, or do you want an easier or a harder stage but an easier boss with X? Personally, I just like playing as zero. And that's how you would get through that part if you're playing as zero or if you're playing as X in the shadow armor. If you're playing as X in regular armor, you're gonna have to use ice blocks and get perfect jumps up that and stuff like that. I can't really show it, and I'm not gonna show it because it takes forever. I can't even do it all the way, but anyway, as you may notice, this stage is like a combination of gimmicks from all the other stages. These are the lasers from Shield Sheldon stage, um, bomb dropping enemies from Rain Rainy Church Lloyd stage, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, these little dogs are from Blizzard Wolfang stage, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm getting all sorts of stuff. I don't even know what I'm getting, but whatever. Yeah, there's a lot going on, obviously. Just just kind of go slash your through it, slash your way through it. Okay, now this part it's a little tricky, but once you know what to do, it's really easy. So there's gonna be magma coming up or fire based on Blaze Heat Nix's stage. All you gotta do is jump across, jump up here, and wall kick your way up, and then wait for the fire, lava, magma, whatever to go back down, and then go through this door. So there's a little gimmick from Blaze Heat Nix's stage, but it's not over yet. We're gonna go this way, and we're gonna have to do more. We're gonna have to do more. That's really not too difficult though. All right, so wall kick your way up here. Got those dogs again from Blizzard Wolfing stage. Uh, those little guys on the ceiling, I forget whose stage they're from. Or from whose stage they are. I think that's grammatically correct. Let's go down the ladder, Zero, come on. Alright, so that's this part. And then you go over here, and then we got some ice from Blaze Heat Nix's stage. Or not Blaze Heat Nix's stage, Blizzard Wolfing stage. And... Oh shit, I forgot to jump! That's okay. So yeah, this stage is very. These last set of stages are very, very interesting and very, very difficult. I used to have a very hard time with this stage, and as a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever beaten the boss, uh, yeah, I think I beat the boss here and then I stopped playing the game, so I actually don't really know what to expect too much from the next stage, I mean, I've seen videos, but I've never actually played the next stage. Well, that should be interesting. Basically, uses gimmicks from all sorts of stages that you've already played, so on and so forth. Alright, so heading up here. Now, I know there's going to be enemies here, so I'm just going to spam this attack in hopes that I can block projectiles or something. See, I somehow killed something. Alright, slowly making my way up. Can only go so fast. Although, I guess now I just see the extent. I just saw the extension thingy of my saber. See if I. Hey! Okay. You're, 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 um, forget you. Alright, so this is the end of the stage, and now it's time to fight the boss. This boss is extremely annoying. Extremely annoying. 
It's probably the hardest boss you'll fight so far. Well, to me it is anyway. I mean, I guess high max can be difficult. I don't know. I don't really know if it has a name. But it's like, it's gonna be two electronic eye thingamajigs. And of course they like to move around the room. I don't know which way they're gonna go. Yep. But once you do know which way they're gonna go, you gotta keep dodging them. You can't hurt them until they stop moving. Alright, and you don't necessarily know when they are gonna stop moving or where they're gonna stop. Yep, see, they trick you like that. But then you're just gonna slash the heck out of it. And then, they're, then they do all these annoying attacks. Maybe you can't really tell how annoying this is, but I find it to be fairly annoying. And I think my saber extension is being a little bit handy. Ah! There. There. You can't go too early, because sometimes I like to go in the opposite direction, but you can't go too late, because then they'll still hit you. Are they gonna both come down? And yes, you have to destroy both, but once you destroy one, you know, half your troubles are gone. It's not like you have to keep attacking both and they both get destroyed at the same time. You can de you can decide to go after one, destroy it, and then destroy the other. I don't know if this boss has a weakness, like an, an attack you can use on it that deals more damage than the others. If it does, I certainly don't know it. Alright, come on. Oh, I'm about halfway there. Arr, come on. Arr. And I'm not doing a very good dodging job. I'm just more concerned about defeating this thing. Okay, go, 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 go. Ah! Alright, I have an E-Tank and I'm using it. You can find these E-Tanks throughout levels. Uh, it'll automatically restore your health. And you can fill it back up every time you get a health extension thingy when your health is full. So if your health is full and you get one of those things that would restore your health, that goes to your E-Tank. And you can get like three of them if you want. Okay, there you go. That one eye is down. Almost done. Ow! Okay, where are you going? I can't get you if you're up there. I'll oh, forget it. I'll do it. Come on, like one more hit. There we go. Done with you. I'm done with you. That wasn't so bad, actually. I recall that being a lot more difficult. Like, a lot more difficult. And yes, you don't get a power for that. But whatever. That's the first segment of Gates Lab, humans. Booyah. Alright, time for the next segment. Well, not just yet. I mean, you go back to the stage select screen. So yes, there's a cutscene here. This is Gate. He's a villainous person. You truly are great, Zero. It's simple. Evil must be defeated. Yeah, I could skip this cutscene, but I guess I'll just show it. I wanted to keep silence on this, but I will reveal the secret to you. To be honest, I didn't get here on my ability alone. I got something. It was a blessing. Guess what I got? I thought it was junk at first. It was a piece of your body. Zero. I obtained your DNA data. It couldn't be an analyzed. Okay, so this entire game, people are trying to get Zero's data for one reason or another so they can what, have his power because Zero is super strong. What? You used my DNA! Your DNA was just fabulous! Was just fabulous! <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. It made High Max and the Nightmare easy. Alright, so yeah, cutscene. I know I skipped like half the cutscenes in this game. I'm a bit confused. If you're confused, I'm sorry. I can't really help you. But again, I played this game for the platforming aspects and the cool level design. And the music. Not so much for the story. So, if someone wants to explain the story in the description, you can go ahead and do so, I suppose. Actually, I insist that you do if someone is requesting it. Delete the nightmare virus now! It's too dangerous! It will be your undoing! I do know that there's some sort of virus that went around in this game that started infecting people and turning them into bad guys or something. I think Zero was a bad guy, and then he became a good guy, or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think this cutscene's ending soon. I don't know. I'll destroy your evil ambition! And it just ends. Alright, well, now I go to this screen, 4 minutes, 5 seconds, how'd I do, how'd I do? GA rank, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so that wraps up this part of Mega Man X6. I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I go on to the second part of Gate Slab, which will be just as difficult.
yeah. Bye-bye, humans.